exercise 9.3 now this is an important exercise here in this chapter now you recall what you did earlier uh, in previous exercise 9.2 you were given solution as well as differential equation both you were given solution as well as differential equation and you have verified you have verified with differentiation by differentiation that this equation is a solution of a given differential equation fine that's what you did from the equation you had obtained all derivatives and you placed into the differential equation at the end you have shown that derivatives obtained from this equation satisfy the differential equation and therefore this equation becomes the solution that's what we did now in this exercise everywhere you will be given solution only solution of what of differential equation of certain differential equation and the question is get the differential equation this is the question everywhere what you want to do you want to get a differential equation whose solution is this okay can you now co con correlate this exercise and the previous exercise in the previous exercise you were given both differential equation and solution so you could verify very easily just by the help of differentiation here you are not given this in fact you want to get a differential equation whose solution is this आपको ऐसा डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन फाइंड करना है यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वो सोल्यूशन इज गिवेन टू यू ओके दैट्स वॉट द एंटायर एक्सरसाइज नाइन पॉइंट थ्री वी गेट अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वो सोल्यूशन इज अ गिवेन इक्वेशन लाइक फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सी इफ आई रीड द क्वेश्चन फॉर्म अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन representing the given family of curves by eliminating arbitrary constants right so to find a differential equation to find differential equation whose solution is whose solution is solution is given equation what's a given equation here equation is this x upon a plus y upon b equals to one. Okay, is this question clear to you? Everywhere same procedure. आपको इसे एक differential equation find करना है जिसका solution a हो जाए. How do we get the differential equation by differentiation? Now previous exercise में तो क्या था आपके सामने differential equation था तो आपको पता चलता है how many times you should differentiate. here you don't have differential equation in fact you want to get the differential equation so the first question in our mind is how many times we should differentiate it that's the first question kitni baar derivative karenge hum log so the answer to that question is you differentiate it as many times as it contains a number of arbitrary constants question mein dekho ye do arbitrary constants hain so we differentiate how many times two times differentiating twice finished आप दो बार डिफ्रेंशिएट कर दो और उसमें से दो आर्बिटरी कांस्टेंट हटा दो तो आपको रिक्वायर्ड डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन मिल जाएगा ओके सम डिफरेंशिएटिंग वन अपॉन ए कांस्टेंट एज इट इज डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ एक्स इज वन वन अपॉन बी कांस्टेंट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई इज वाई डैश वन का डेरेवेटिव जीरो अगेन वापस डिफरेंशिएशन कर रहा हूँ वन अपॉन ए बींग कॉन्स्टेंट जीरो वन अपॉन बी एज इट इज डेरेवेटिव ऑफ वाई इज वाई डैश जीरो बी यू कैन टेक ओवर हियर सो वाई डैश इक्वल टू जीरो ओके दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन रिक्वायर्ड डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दैट मीन्स दिस इज अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वो सोल्यूशन इज दिस ए ऐसा एक डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन है जिसका सोल्यूशन यहाँ पे है clear understood ek ek question how many times you are going to differentiate the given equation equals to number of arbitrary constants fine aur aap koi bhi differential equation dekho isme arbitrary constant nahi hote to agar differentiation karne ke baad andar arbitrary constant hai to aapko isko hatana padega clear 
ओके चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सेकंड क्वेश्चन बस पूरा एक्सरसाइज यही है एवरीवेयर एक ही मेथड डिफरेंशिएशन कर दो वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू ए इंटू बी स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर आपको आई रिपीट आपको ऐसा डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन चाहिए जिसका सॉल्यूशन ये हो जाए तो हम लोग क्या करेंगे डिफरेंशिएशन करेंगे कितनी बार करेंगे इक्वल्स टू नंबर ऑफ आर्बिट्री कॉन्स्टेंट्स कितने आर्बिट्री कॉन्स्टेंट है दो सो वी राइट डिफरेंशिएटिंग ट्वाइस ओके व्हाट इज डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई स्क्वायर टू वाई वाई डैश चेन रोल यू नो अब ये जानते हैं आप व्हाट इज द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई स्क्वायर टू वाई डिवाई बाई डी एक्स डिवाई बाई डी एक्स इज वाई डैश ए बींग कॉन्स्टेंट एज इट इज अब इसका डिफरेंशिएशन बी स्क्वायर बींग कॉन्स्टेंट जीरो एक्स स्क्वायर का डिफरेंशिएशन टू एक्स सो अगेन मैं डिफरेंशिएशन कर रहा हूँ अब टू टू कैंसिल कर सकते हैं सो ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वॉट विल गेट इफ आई यूज द प्रोडक्ट रूल वाई इन टू मैं प्रोडक्ट रूल यूज कर रहा हूँ वाई इन टू वाई डबल डैश प्लस वाई डैश एज इट इज ए वाई का डेरेवेटिव वाई डैश आई होप नाउ यूर क्लियर विद दिस माइनस ए बींग कॉन्स्टेंट एज इट इज एक्स का डेरेवेटिव वन I repeat one more time. Here product rule. Y as it is. What's the derivative of y dash? D square y by d x square. Y double dash. This y dash as it is. What's the derivative of y again? Y dash. Minus a constant as it is and x का derivative one. Fine. Now differentiation हो गया. कितनी बार हुआ? दो बार. क्यों दो बार differentiation किया? क्योंकि अंदर दो arbitrary constant है. But this is not the required differential equation. क्योंकि इसमें से minus a या a निकलना चाहिए. You keep in your mind, differential equation never contains arbitrary constant. Arbitrary constant कहाँ पे होते हैं? Solution में होते हैं. Remember, तो आपको ये minus a हटाना पड़ेगा. तो आपके पास दो option हैं. Either you can use this or this. Got it? So I think इससे minus a easily मिल जाएगा. So I'll get the minus a from this and I'll place here. This is y y double dash, y dash the whole square. What is minus a from this? Y y dash minus a will be x here, right? You can write just by one. Remember, this is from one. Okay. What I did just I got the minus a from the this one. So finally we are getting here x into y y double dash plus y dash the whole square. Equals to y y double dash y dash, which is required differential equation. Required differential equation. आप देखो, it contains derivatives. Required differential equation. It contains what derivatives? Arbitrary constant अंदर अब नहीं है. And what's the order of this differential equation? Highest order derivative two. क्यों? क्योंकि यहाँ पे दो arbitrary constant है. Number of arbitrary constants and order of the differential equation is always equal. Remember, clear? Why two times derivative? Why? Because two are two arbitrary constants. That's why. One time, what? The second time, what? But this is not the required differential equation. Previous sum, I have done two times derivative. So I have not left the arbitrary constant in the middle. That's why I have written it, which is the required differential equation. Here, look. Minus a is here. नाउ आपको आगे डेरिवेटिव नहीं करना है माइनस ए शुड बी एलिमिनेटेड फ्रॉम दिस तो माइनस ए का मैंने आइदर गिवन इक्वेशन में से या इक्वेशन ऑप्टेन बाय डिफरेंशिएटिंग वंस वो यूज करके माइनस ए हटा दो सो यू आर गेटिंग डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन क्लियर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू आर गिवन दिस इक्वेशन वी वॉन्ट टू गेट द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो वी डिफरेंशिएटेड हाउ मेनी टाइम्स There are two arbitrary constants, so we'll write differentiating twice. Okay? Chalo, first, what derivative of y? Y dash. A being constant as it is, what's the derivative of a raised to 3x? A raised to 3x into 3. Uh, here, b as it is, what's the derivative of a raised to minus 2x? Minus 2x into minus 2, so which I'll write here. Okay? Again, differentiation, though by derivative y double dash here 
derivative of y dash is y double dash 3a being constant as it is differentiation of e raised to 3x is e raised to 3x into 3 by chain rule you know all these things now minus 2b as it is this is e raised to minus 2x into minus 2 by chain rule okay so you are getting finally 9a into e raised to 3x plus 4b into e raised to minus 2x this is y double dash but this is not the required differential equation. They could do by differentiation khatam ho gaya. But this will not do. So what we do? We get the values. I mean sorry. We eliminate the values of A and B from this final equation. So what I'll do? I'll call this as 1. I'll call as 2. Because aapko ye dono use karna padega. And I'll call this as 3. With the help of these 3 equations. From this. We eliminate A and B and we'll place there. Fine. Clear? Now whichever way you want to do, that's your task. Kya karna hai? A equation mein se A or B nikalna chi. Because differential equation never contains arbitrary constants, remember. So I'll use 1 and 2. I'll place here and uh, simplify and I'll make this equation free from A and B. That's what I want to do now. So what I'll do, I'll use 1 and 2. I'll multiply equation number 1 with 2. Q, have a look on it. So 2y plus 2a into raised to 3x plus 2b raised to minus 2x. Equation 2 as it is right now. So y dash equals to 3a raised to 3x minus 2b raised to minus 2x. Now you add this two. If I add this 2, this will get cancelled. 2y plus y dash equals to 5a raised to 3x. So indirectly, you got the value of a, you can see. Right? If you look at it 3, upko, you can place the value of this one. So a into raised to 3x equals to 2y plus y dash by 5. Keep inside. Okay. And now, again, what I'll do, I'll make it free from, you know, uh, A here. So, I'll multiply equation 1 again with 3. So, 3y equals to 3a raised to 3x plus 3b raised to minus 2x. Second equation right now as it is. y dash equals to 3a raised to 3x minus 2b raised to minus 2x now change the sign here because I want to cancel this so here minus minus and this will be plus this will get cancelled 3y minus y dash equals to what is this 5b raised to minus 2x now you want value of b into this one so 3y minus y dash by 5 equals to b into raised to minus 2x right. so i'll place the value of this and this in equation number one sorry in equation number three so by three y double dash equals to 9a as it is i'm putting the value of a into raised to 3x iska value may place karna Ab equation three mein dekho 2y plus y dash by five plus 4 now I'm putting the value of how much b into raised to minus 2x which is 3y minus y dash by 5 fine now just simplify so 5y double dash taking LCM this is 18 and uh, this is 12 so 30y plus your 9y dash minus 4y dash so 5y double dash equals to 30y plus 5y dash dividing by you know 5 so y double dash minus 6y minus y dash equals to 0 which is required differential equation right this way you need to just concentrate it 
at earlier obtained equations. You can see that this equation contains only derivatives, no arbitrary constraints. It just contains what? Derivatives. It has no arbitrary constraints. After differentiating twice, I have just used the elimination, remember, or kuch nahi kya. Okay. Next question. What about next question? One more I'll do. Question number four here. Fourth question. Let's do that. So in the fourth question, you are given what is given there? Y equals to e raised to 2x into a plus bx. How many arbitrary constraints? You can see there are two arbitrary constraints. So we differentiate it, differentiating twice. So here y dash product rule e raised to 2x as it is into 2 by chain rule. Sorry, I'm differentiating a raised to 2x. A raised to 2x into 2, a plus bx as it is. Plus, now a plus bx ka differentiation. a ka 0, bx ka just b. This is just b. And e raised to 2x as it is. Clear? Now, before you do further differentiation, if you want to put, you can put this much equals to y at least. It now y raksakte, call this as 1. So y dash is equal to 2 times, this is y plus b times e raised to 2x because of 1. Have you noticed? A nikal gyan se, only you are left with b. Now again differentiation. Call this as equation number 2. Again differentiation. What is derivative of y dash? y double dash. Derivative of y is y double dash. 2 as it is, your y dash. b being constant as it is, what's the derivative of e raised to 2x? e raised to 2x into 2. Clear? I differentiate it here. y dash, y double dash, 2 as it is, y dash, b constant as it is. Derivative of e raised to 2x is e raised to 2x into 2. Now differentiation is over. You cannot further differentiate it, remember. What you need to do from final equation, you need to make it free from B. Right? Now, it already used Kalia. Now, upper wala 2 dekho, to iska value up place kar sakte hai pe. So, y double dash is equal to 2y dash twice. I'm putting the value of this much from 2. What's the value of this one? y dash minus 2y. Right? By 2 from equation number 2. Clear? Simplify. So y double dash equals to 2y dash plus 2y dash minus 4y. So therefore y double dash minus 4y dash plus 4y equals to 0. This is required differential equation. Right? So you can see that the, uh, the order of this differential equation is 2 because you have two arbitrary constraints and it contains, it contains no arbitrary constraint. Differential equation may arbitrary constraint nahi hona chahi. Okay, fifth you can try question number 6. Now sixth onwards, these are again important questions. Usme aapko a question bhi nahi diya hai. From the information you need to form such equation and then this procedure. So to form this equation, it's like 11 standard concept. Okay, so 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. In this 4-5 questions, pehle aapko ye differential equ pehle equation form karna hai from the data. And then you need to do this procedure. Let us see that what this equation says. This is from 11th standard. Form the differential equation of the family of uh, circles family means what collection of circles aisa sub circle nikalo touching y axis at origin so circle would be like this kya kar rahe hum log we are finding such equation and then we get the differential equation question padho form the differential equation that is given by what here circles touching y axis at origin this is x-axis, suppose, here this is y-axis. Now, 
सर्कल वाई एक्सिस को ओरिजिन पे टच कर रहा है तो सर्कल इज लाइक दिस ओके इट मे बी लाइक दिस आल्सो रिमेंबर सो यू हैव कलेक्शन ऑफ सर्कल्स इट मे बी लाइक दिस आल्सो रिमेंबर इट मे बी लाइक दिस आल्सो सो देर आर फैमिली ऑफ सर्कल्स एक सर्कल नहीं है दैट्स व्हाट इज कॉल्ड फैमिली फैमिली मीन्स नंबर ऑफ सर्कल्स क्लियर नाउ हाउ डू वी गेट दिस टू गेट द सर्कल वॉट यू नीड यू नीड सेंटर एंड रेडियस Now, circle touches y-axis at origin. Center will be on the x-axis, right? अगर आप देखो, if it touches y-axis, a radius हो जाएगा. तो अगर मैं radius को r ले लो, तो center क्या हो जाएगा? On the x-axis, y coordinate is zero. So r comma zero हो जाएगा. तो let's write let radius equals to r. Okay? And therefore, center will be सेंटर विल बी वॉट आर कॉमा जीरो रिमेम्बर आर यहाँ पे भी हो सकता है माइनस टू कॉमा जीरो भी हो सकता है आर कैन बी नेगेटिव बट रेडियस इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव सो आई पुट द मॉडल इफ यू टेक डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ आर सपोज आई टेक एन माइनस टू कॉमा जीरो सो सर्कल विल बी लाइक दिस क्लियर बट रेडियस तो माइनस टू लूंगा तो भी रेडियस तो टू ही रहेगा सो देर इज ओनली वन आर्बिटरी कॉन्स्टेंट सो वट इज आर हियर ए आर बी कॉन्स्टेंट आर्बिटरी कॉन्स्टेंट आर्बिटरी कॉन्स्टेंट मीन्स वॉट आप आर का अलग अलग वैल्यू चूज कर सकते हैं फाइन नाउ वी फॉर्म द इक्वेशन सो इक्वेशन ऑफ द सर्कल इक्वेशन ऑफ द सर्कल Do you remember how to get the equation of the circle? X minus h, so minus r the whole square, plus y minus zero the whole square, equals to r square. This is a circle, sorry, family of circles touching y-axis at origin. Now it is the beginning of previous question. अब ये चालू हो गया. देखो equation आ गया. Fine. लाइक प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन वहाँ पे आपको एक क्वेश्चन रेडी दिया था यहाँ पे आपने डेटा का यूज करके एक क्वेश्चन लेके आया नाउ वी डिफरेंशिएटेड हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिफरेंशिएटेड अपने आप पूछो कितने आर्बिटरी कॉन्स्टेंट है देर इज वन आर्बिटरी कॉन्स्टेंट सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिफरेंशिएटेड वन रिमेंबर और वो जो एक क्वेश्चन आया उसमें फिर आर नहीं रहना चाहिए क्लियर सो वी आर डिफरेंशिएटिंग वन नाउ सो लेट्स डिफरेंशिएटेड so i'm differentiating differentiating how many times you are going to differentiate it one time okay so by chain rule two times x minus r derivative of x square merely x minus r x ho jayega into 1 plus what is this 2y y dash chain rule and yahan pe r square ka derivative zero because it's a constant fine so what we are getting x minus r plus y y dash equals to zero dividing by two now this is not the required differential equation q because it contains r r ni rehna chahiye andar so we need to make it free from r so what i'll do me pura x minus r ka value i'll place in the given equation so putting x minus r equals to y y dash in equation वन I'll call this as equation वन मैं इसको वन बोल रहा हूँ फाइन आई थिंक इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस आप ये कर दो तो थोड़ा ईजी रहेगा वट यूल डू फ्रॉम वन यू गेट आर एंड प्लेस यू फ्रॉम वन वी आर फाइंडिंग आर देखो एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस टू एक्स आर Plus r square plus y square equals to r square. So, what is r from this? X square plus y square equals to 2x r. So r by 2x from one. Putting in above equation. So let me call this as two. Right? Putting in two. So x as it is. मैं आर का वैल्यू प्लेस कर रहा हूँ वट्स वैल्यू ऑफ आर एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर बाई टू एक्स प्लस वाई वाई डैश इक्वस टू जीरो सो इफ आई टेक एल सी एम हि टू एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस वाई स्क्वेयर 
प्लस टू एक्स वाई वाई डैश इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस वाई स्क्वेर प्लस टू एक्स वाई वाई डैश इक्वल्स टू जीरो विच इज रिक्वायर्ड डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन उस फैमिली ऑफ काउज मीन्स वॉट उस सोल्यूशन इज गिवेन बाई दैट इक्वेशन नंबर वन राइट विच इक्वेशन वी आर गेटिंग एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस वाई स्क्वेर प्लस टू एक्स वाई वाई डैश इक्वल्स टू जीरो If you realize what's the difference between this one and the previous five questions, in previous five questions you were given the ready equation. Here you are not given the ready equation, so you got the equation from the data. Now let's see the previous ones. Next question, sorry, seventh. First we form the equation, then we differentiate it. Question number seven. Read the question. Form the differential equation of the family of parabolas. तो आपको पहले पैराबोला का इक्वेशन फाइंड करना पड़ेगा हैविंग वॉट एक्स एट ओरिजिन एंड एक्सिस अलॉन्ग पॉजिटिव वाई एक्सिस आप जानते हैं सब टर्मिनोलॉजी फ्रॉम इलेवेंथ दिस इज फ्रॉम इलेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड एक्स एक्सिस योर दिस इज वाई एक्सिस वॉट एक्स ए है ओरिजिन है एंड एक्सिस इज अलॉन्ग पॉजिटिव वाई एक्सिस सो पैराबोला वुड बी लाइक दिस रिमेंबर दिस इज पैराबोला okay what this is focus will be somewhere here hmm. zero comma b you can call okay so in this case you know this is a standard parabola equation is if you have y square equals to 4x this is called the standard parabola it would be like this a parabola jo hai wo aisa dikhega aapko pata hai this is a standard parabola here what the equation x square equals to 4by right square of which variable you are given x square and which variable is free from square y so it is around y axis yeah that this is from 11th standard right parabola symmetric about y axis where what is b b positive hai and it's an arbitrary constant kyun positive likha maine question mein diya aapko isliye it's given in the question एक्सिस अलोंग पॉजिटिव वाई एक्सिस सो पैराबोला में भी लाइक दिस ऐसा भी हो सकता है देखो पैराबोला में भी लाइक दिस इसका फोकस बदल जाएगा तो बी कैन बी एनी थिंग बट इट विल बी ओवर हियर ओनली पैराबोला नीचे नहीं आ रहा है यू मे हैव पैराबोला लाइक दिस ऑल्सो रिमेंबर सो फोकस माइट बी डिफरेंट फोकस में भी जीरो कॉमा टू जीरो कॉमा थ्री जीरो कॉमा फोर सो देर इज यू हैव फैमिली ऑफ पैराबोलास इक्वेशन आ गया अब हमारा क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू फाइव चालू हो गया कितने आर्बिटरी कांस्टेंट है एक सो हाउ मेनी टाइम्स यू आर गोइंग टू डिफरेंशिएट वन टाइम डिफरेंशिएटिंग ओके सो टू एक्स इक्वल्स टू फोर बी बीइंग कांस्टेंट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई इज वाई डैश एक्स स्क्वेर टू एक्स डेरिवेटिव ऑफ फोर बी बींग कॉन्स्टेंट एज इट इज एंड डेरेवेटिव ऑफ वाई इज वाई डैश right now this is not the required required differential differential equation remember isme se b nikalna chahiye kahan se aap lenge equation 1 mein it is as good as isme se 4b ka value rakh do so 2x as it is what's the value of 4b x square by y into y dash so 2xy equals to x square into y dash this is required differential equation I hope now you must be clear with this exercise. क्या करना है वो आपको at least अब clear हो गया I'm sure. You can cancel x x if you want to. Uh, if you want you can write like this here. Two y equals to x y dash. If you want you can write like this. Fine. Okay. Now next question. वहां पे भी वापस आपको पहले ऐसा इक्वेशन फॉर्म करना है क्वेश्चन नंबर एट एथ क्वेश्चन लेट्स फॉर्म द इक्वेशन फॉर्म द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन आपको डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन फाइन करना है दैट इज अ क्वेश्चन किसका डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन फाइन करना है फैमिली ऑफ एलिप्स एलिप्स चाहिए हैविंग फोकाय ऑन वाई एक्सिस एंड सेंटर एट ओरिजिन सो स्टैंडर्ड एलिप्स की बात हो रही है यू नो इट 
okay so if I roughly show the ellipse here you know ellipse here ellipse is around which axis y axis foci is on the y axis remember so ellipse would be like this oval shape is around y axis if you remember s and s dash you know center is origin this is origin fine if you call this as a and this as b then here b is bigger than a equation will be same remember abjante right so uh, here uh, equation of the ellipse in this case equation of the ellipse what's the equation of the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equals to 1 but b is greater than a remember Ab a b ka value koi bhi choose kar sakte over here over here so we'll get the number of ellipse so how many arbitrary constraints two arbitrary constraints how many arbitrary constraints two arbitrary constraints call this as equation number one so how many times you are going to differentiate it two times Ab do bar iska differentiation karenge, remember you are going to differentiate it how many times two times we will differentiate it twice okay now you can see that now it's like question one to five Aapko equation mil gaya. Okay, so I'll write differentiating twice here. Differentiating twice. Kyun do bar kar rahe? Because there are two arbitrary constraints. Okay. Upon a square being constant as it is. x square ka 2x. 1 by b square being constant as it is. y square ka jante by chain rule 2y y dash equals to derivative of 1 0 so if I simplify this here uh, 2 2 will get cancelled 1 upon a square into x plus 1 upon b square um, over here y y dash equals to 0 call this as 2 okay now we second differentiation back in so we differentiated one more time again differentiation 1 upon a square as it is what's the differentiation of x 1 1 by b square as it is being constant is my product rule useful hoga remember when you differentiate it we need to use which rule product rule so I'm using product rule y as it is y dash ka derivative y double dash plus y dash as it is and y ka differentiation again y dash equals to 0 right so therefore 1 upon a square plus 1 upon b square into y y double dash plus y dash the whole square equals to 0 call this as 3 so now you know it's like earlier questions. You have three equations. Equation 1, you know here, equation 1, that's a given equation. Equation 2 and equation 3. There are three equations. With the help of this three, we make this equation free from what? A square and B square. Or maybe sometimes two also. What you can do, do is here, probably, uh, you just multiply this by x and do the subtraction I repeat so you x square x square will go over direct a square a square will get cancelled so I'll write equation 2 into x I have x I have 1 by a square here so 1 by a square into x plus 1 by b squared into x inside the bracket this is as it is remember this is very important task remember to make the final equation free from arbitrary constraint equation uh, 3 common x multiply here so here 3 and equation 2 as it is that is 1 upon a squared into x plus 1 upon b squared to y y dash equals to 0 Fine. Now we just subtract. If I do the subtraction, this will get cancelled. Take 1 upon b square common. So what I'll get here? x, y, y double dash 
plus x y dash the whole square here you have minus y y dash equals to 0 you noticed b uh, you are left with just b square a square being eliminated now you can take this one over here so x y y dash y double dash x y dash the whole square minus y y dash equals to 0 if you want you can take y dash common so i can write like this i'll take just y dash common so x y dash minus y equals to 0 which is required differential equation required differential equation fine it's you can see that it's free from two arbitrary constraint and that though arbitrary constraint you can just notice this in this question question number nine form the differential equation of the family of hyperbolas so you want hyperbolas first equation of hyperbolas where center is on uh, sorry having foci on the x-axis on x-axis and center at origin center is at origin right so it would be like this it talks about standard hyperbola this is x-axis here we have y-axis foci is on the x-axis so one branch will be over here the other branch will be over here one is s the other one is s dash this is a center which is origin okay now you know this is a standard hyperbola so what's the equation here in this case the equation is given by what x square by a square minus y square by b square equals to one right you know this this is a standard hyperbola Apejante here, you can take this as, you know, these are the two vertices A and A dash. You can take this as A comma 0. So this is A dash minus A comma 0. This is B and this is B dash. All these things, you know, where A and B are arbitrary constant. If you take different values of A and B, you will get different hyperbolas. Okay, now I will not do because it's like previous question only. Right, differentiated how many times? differentiate it twice and uh, finally you eliminate a square and b square from the final equation I, i'm sure you can do it now question number 10 10th question form the differential equation of the family of circles with center on y-axis and radius is three units So here you need a circle with center on y axis. So somewhere here for example. Radius you are given which is 3. So you know coordinates on the y axis will be 0 comma b. First coordinate is 0. So let center c be 0 comma b. Where what is b? b is arbitrary constraint. b is arbitrary constraint. If you choose different values of B, you will get different circles on the Y axis like this. If I take B equals to 1, then 0, 1. Every time radius is fixed, 3 remember. Okay. So center you know 0, B, radius you know. So what's the equation here? Equation is X minus H the whole square plus Y minus K. K is here B the whole square equals to r square r square means 3 square which is 9 so you are getting x square plus y minus b the whole square equals to 9 this is the equation as we did earlier now how many arbitrary constant you have 1 so differentiated once and then make the equation free from b or just y minus b not a difficult task remember it's like which question question number 6 remember there also you had one arbitrary constant here also you have one arbitrary constant just refer six and try to do it what you need to do differentiate it once and make the final equation free from b with the help of one and the next equation which you are going to find that much only try it
Now in 11th question you are given this equation and you want to get the differential equation from four options. How many arbitrary constants? Two. So differentiate it twice. So y1 is equal to c1 into rest to x because of chain rule you will get minus this. Again differentiation karke dekho. y2 equals to y1 or y2 you can write here e raise to x plus c2 into e raise to minus x by chain rule this will be plus now what is this you know that this is y right so y2 equals to y this is just from 1 y2 means remember d square y by dx square so d square y by dx square equals to y so i suppose this is nothing but the option b and the next MCQ, you are given the particular solution y equals to x. And you want to get one differential equation from four options whose solution is this. So what we do, we observe first four options. Every option has double derivative, so we differentiate it twice. What's dy by dx? 1. Again, what is one more derivative? d square by dx square equals to 0. Now use this and this and you see uh, which option satisfied by this. What about the option A? Deco? This is by trial and error. d square over by x square 0 minus x square into 1 plus xy. Are you getting equals to x? No. So it doesn't satisfy this equation. What about B? Look at it B. d square over by dx square 0. x into uh, what is dy by dx 1? plus xy is it equals to x no doesn't satisfy come to c what is d square by dx square 0 minus x square into uh, what is dy by dx that is just 1 plus xy uh, equals to here 0 why this have you noticed I, I wrote in fact this directly because here you see it's like this minus x square plus x into y what is y that is again x so minus x square equals to x square 0 and you are getting RHS so option C is satisfied by this and therefore C is the correct solution you can try it fourth option will not satisfied by uh, you know this equation and with the help of these two derivatives okay remember here this is a particular solution so directly from particular solution as we did earlier questions 1 to 11 you cannot get such equation you need to do by trial and error only so that's what I did from the equation I obtained dy by dx d square by dx square and by trial and error I have just observed that this equation with the derivatives satisfy the option C and therefore it's a correct answer. Therefore it's a correct required differential equation.